Hello kids, and Steve coming back at you again. Looks like a little bit of a mail day Monday. First, I would like to show you another part of my extensive, extensive coin collection. I have some of it in one bedroom in a safe, some of it in another bedroom um, stored away, and all the expensive stuff, the silver, um, both, or actually all nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, dollars that are silver in a safe deposit box at the bank. I have coins going from 300 AD, the Roman Empire, on up from all around the world, mostly American. But this time I'm going to show you one of my many, 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 many bags of wheat scents that I have all rolled up still. I have over 75 rolls of these Lincoln Wheat Wheat Scents. In fact, there's one that the entire roll, yep, 30 to 39, 1930 to 1939 Wheat Scents right there. I have over 75 rolls of this, and I just love collecting coins. Now, before we go any further, let's do a little mail today. Hope you all had a fantastic Monday, which at work for me was my Thursday, because tomorrow I am going to travel to Tennessee. I will be out of town, and because I'll be in Knoxville area, the Smoky Mountains, more specifically Dandridge, Gatlinburg, and Pigeon Forge, I will be most likely offline, as in the mountains, the reception there is not that good. I will do my best to post and watch, but I'm not going to guarantee anything with my cell coverage. I am trying to get into this first pack, or this first card here. It is the last one I need of the Power Blast subset from the Skeleton Warriors. And I now have completed that entire set. Look at that. Very, very nice. And, not only does that complete this subset, it completes all my different sets from that one set of cards. So I now have the base set, I have the acetate see-through set, I have the glow-in-the-dark sticker back set, and I now have completed the power blast set. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, and nine. There we go. Another nice, nice set with great artwork. All finished. I love these cards so much. I think they're awesome. I was turned on to these by the one and only Bud Stoney, which, coincidentally, there's one from him. I will get into that for you right now because I know what that is. I'm so glad it came. Because, as you all know, he creates, out of his own mind, custom cards for people. And now, not only did I commission him to make this, I know I gave him the one card, at least, to help to, that he used. When I gave to him, it was not meant for this, but it turned out it worked perfectly. And I believe I gave him the other card as well, just because I have so many Donruss cards I've been opening. Actually, being an 88 Donruss, that might have been his own that he used for that. This is a Christmas gift for my father, whom I helped for over 10 years put together a 1962 Topps baseball set with every error correction, variation, and even the green tinted cards. He has the entire set. So what Bud did here, he took an actual 1962 Topps card and took the um, player out of it. He took the border off. I believe it was a Tom Tresh card I had given him. And my dad's favorite player is Warren Spawn, so he took the Warren Spawn Donruss card from 88, depicting the puzzle. He found another Braves card, and he cut the logo off to cover the name of Tom Tresh. 
It even says Braves. And there it is. Again, he does these on commission, and I, he does an incredible job. I recommend everyone check him out. If you have something you like, sport, non-sport, pseudo-sport, even he'll mix them, like I've seen him do Shoei Otani and Barry Bonds. He's done George Gervin with the Iceman from Marvel for George Iceman Gervin. Cal Ripken and Iron Man from Marvel for the Iron Man plus others. So just great work. And if you missed it last night, he was actually live for a few minutes on a Deafness 45 live stream, along with two of Deafness's other cohorts. I'm not sure their names, but they impressed me like you wouldn't believe also. And it was just a great talk about the hobby, other videos of what people do, how to keep things going, how to be fair to people and kind always. And everyone had their own little different perspective of everything and some a lot of times they shared the same perspective go back and watch that very very informative very intelligent conversations and very entertaining i loved it but again this came from the mind of the one and only bud stoney and again make sure you check out deafness 45 and warcraft aka crafty deafness stepped into one of his auctions the other night and I think allergies caught up with Warcraft. That was very good and emotional. And I felt that one in my heart when he walked in. Just to hear in the voice of Warcraft, a.k.a. Crafty, what was going on. That was incredible. Thank you again, Bud. And everyone else out there, give him a check, check out and see what he can do for you. And see what you can do for him. That's great. And now, from Papa J, what did I get here? Again, another great channel. Love his entertaining ways and all of his giveaways. And he does great mixer breaks and breaks and a lot of people. I did get a Papa J lapel pin to go along with the Papa J button. So that's cool. Very nice. Thank you, Papa J. And let's see what goodies await. I do believe I won a giveaway of a pack. Was this Diamond Kings, possibly? I believe so. And I did not do bad at all. I got an artist proof of Billy Williams. Got a Kirby Puckett Hall of Famer. Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer. Sam Rice, I believe, is a Hall of Famer. And a Juan Soto. Juan Soto, it's a landscape card. Oh, it is an insert. It's number INT10. I'm not quite sure. In the zone. In the zone. So that's great. Very nice. And these are nice cards, too. This one feels a little more canvassy as well. Maybe that's part of it. But that's it for mail day today. There will be no mail day tomorrow. Definitely I am flying out. And I hope everyone not only had a great Monday and a great weekend. Go Packers, go Chiefs. But just be excellent to each other. Hit the thumbs up button because that will that'll always help me. It will always help you. You have a couple other channels to look. The ABCs need one, two, three. ABQ Sport Cards. Great, great stuff. Give everyone a look. Go through my channels on my page, my About page, and check them out. If you don't like them, don't subscribe, but don't thumbs down and don't leave weird messages. Just move along. Move along. And if anyone would like to send me an email to open up a live on camera and give you all a big shout out, that would be my address. There's more in my description and my about page on YouTube, but for now, Steve checking out, avoid the noid, and as always, peace.